Hello friends, you are on the Gradient channel. Today we will talk about 5 mistakes during arc and arc welding that prevent you from welding high quality sims. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's go! And of course, friends, on our website, gradientua.com, you will find an assortment of torches and torch accessories, welded protection products and many other items. The link is in the description. The first mistake, improper sharpening of the tungsten electrode. The technology for sharpening electrodes for AC and DC welding is different. The metal of the workpiece must also be taken into account when sharpening the electrode. When welding with direct current, the tungsten electrode must be sharpened so that the tip of the electrode looks like a cat cone. Blunting should be 0.2-0.3 mm. The height of the sharpening cone is 2-3 times the electrode diameter. This sharpening is necessary for better arc focus, reduced heat dissipation from the arc, and positioning accuracy. When welding with alternating current, the tip of the electrode should be slightly rounded by about 0.75 of the electrode diameter and the height of the sharpening cone should be no more than two electrode diameters. This is due to the use of alternating current in welding. Rounding helps to increase the stability of arc burning. It is also necessary to remember the direction of sharpening the electrode. The sharpening marks should be along the electrode, since with transverse sharpening the arc will be defocused, which will greatly complicate welding. Mistake number two, setting a low current. Low current leads to prolonged arc ignition, arc instability, and prolonged well pull formation. Taken together, these factors can lead to overheating of certain areas of the workpiece, poor quality welds, and damage to consumables. One of the simplest solutions used by almost all professional welders. Select several plates of the same metal and thickness as the main structure. We test different currents on them. At the end, we inspect the welds and choose the best current settings for the main structure. Third error. The wrong shielding gas flow rate is selected. It is important to select the correct gas flow rate. If you set a lower gas flow rate than required, the additive and the welded structure burn, which in turn damages the quality of the weld. If you use more gas than necessary, the welding arc swirls, which leads to a loss of control over the welding process. The gas pressure and flow rate should also be set by testing and checking that the gas comes out evenly when pressing on the welding torch. This will help to save gas during operation. We recommend starting with 0.2 atmospheres when pressing the torch button. Installing the tungsten electrode in the torch incorrectly. Often novice welders fix the electrode deeper than necessary. This makes it very difficult to create a high-quality welding arc. In this case, the arc is cut off by the nozzle edges. In addition, the nozzle begins to heat up and break down and the temperature on the tungsten electrode also increases. In such cases, it is important to calculate the size of the electrode overhang from the nozzle. This is usually half the nozzle diameter. The last, fifth mistake. Setting a small gas supply interval before and after arc ignition. We recommend setting a minimum of one second of gas supply before welding. This option will allow you to feed the shielding medium and ignite the arc properly. Regarding the gas supply after welding, we recommend setting the gas supply after welding for at least 3 seconds to preserve the tungsten electrode and at least 5 seconds to preserve the weld quality. After all, in the first seconds after welding is stopped, the tungsten electrode maintains a high temperature and starts to burn when oxygen enters. This does not happen in a protective environment, but it is possible when oxygen enters. In this case, the structure of tungsten is damaged and it will be unsuitable for the next welding. We have identified five main welding mistakes, the elimination of which, multiplied by practice, will allow you to make accurate, high-quality and beautiful welds. Dear friends, if you are familiar with other types of mistakes and know how to eliminate them and make the quality of welds better, please write about it in the comments. Let's exchange tips and improve the quality of our work and the work of others. Subscribe to our channel and other social networks. We will be happy to communicate and hear your thoughts in the comments. See you soon!